Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's it going? Did you guys know that Paul Walker made his movie debut in Monster in the Closet? It's a scary movie from 1987 where Paul Walker played Bennett. Huh. So in my last video, I asked you guys, what are you afraid of? And this is what you said. Today's comic question of the day is, who's your favorite person in the world? So as you can see behind me, it's just a green screen, and my TV screens aren't even here. This is because they're renovating my house right now, and they're replacing all the windows, as you can see in these pictures right here. So for right now, you're just going to have to deal with the green. Okay, so let's talk about Aaliyah Hart. She's known to be the UK's smallest baby ever. When she was born, she was only 12 ounces and 7 inches long. She was born 3 months prematurely and had undeveloped lungs. And because of that, doctors gave her only a 1% chance of survival. When Aaliyah was born, she was small enough to fit in her mother's palm. Well, guess what? This is a picture of her today. She beat the odds and shocked doctors when she survived past birth. She is now 10 years old and she's living life like a normal person. When Aaliyah was 5 years old and she started school, her mother was very scared and timid to send her there. This is because she was really scared that she wouldn't fit in or she she would like hurt herself somewhere because at the age of five years old she was like as small as a two-year-old but now she's actually growing at the same rate of someone her own age okay so moving on this picture right here made the front page of the New York Post it's being called the worst selfie ever it's a woman taking a picture of herself in front of the Brooklyn Bridge well if you look closely into the background you can actually see a guy he's about to commit suicide well eventually the guy was talked down off the ledge and he didn't kill himself the woman who took the picture is identified as a tourist a witness told investigators that she was actually watching that guy for like 25 minutes so she knew what was going on when she was taking that picture you know what I really hope this doesn't turn into like the new trend where people are taking selfies in front of like bad situations the guys robbing the store all right let's take a picture of it what do you guys think would be like the worst situation to take a selfie in front of okay so really messed up story down in Florida a man used a crossbow to kill his wife and his son oh like is this real life right now and then after all of that he took his own life he killed his wife and his teenage son in their Miami home and then he drove hundreds of miles north to Tallahassee where he tried to kill his other son with the crossbow. But when he got there and tried to shoot him, he missed and just hit his ear. They got into a struggle, but the son was able to escape. And then for some reason, the father went to a hotel where he slashed his throat, taking his own life. Officials are still trying to piece together this weird three-day murder-suicide thing. The father is identified as 47-year-old Pedro. But seriously, what the heck is wrong with this guy? How is someone capable of committing crimes like this? So down in the UK, a 140-mile-an-hour hurricane just hit. These are pictures from the people getting blown down from the wind. There was even a truck that tipped over. More than 120,000 people were left without electricity. This is UK's worst storm in more than 60 years. There's just so much water that rescue teams had to use these small boats to save people. The sea levels are expected to rise as high as it did back in 1953, where 307 people lost their lives. These are actual pictures from 1953. Underneath all that water are roads. So it's not like that place in Venice, Italy where you have to travel on the water. Railroads, buses, airports, and even the bridges were shut down. Let's just hope that everyone can keep safe. Anyways, viewers, that was your Thursday's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully tomorrow, I'll be back home with my two TV screens. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach.